Hey guys, Alexander the Gamer here, and if you watched the last video, you know where we are. We just started a new campaign as the Lachmids in Total War Attila, with the Radius mod, as well as the Radius unit mod, of course. Um, we started out and we built up a little bit of troops, and we attacked the Gasnids. They came out and fought us in a field battle, which was in the last episode, and now we're fighting the remnants of their army, as well as the garrison of their town. Um, the Pretty much if I win this fight, I get the region. Which will be great. More money. Stuff. Yay. I lose. I'll go back and I'll try again some other time. But I won't lose. Come on. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, campaign is much better. I feel there's a lot more flexibility. Oh, they get a nice hill. Too bad they're the AI, so they can't. I'm also playing on normal. I remember in Total War games where you could actually increase. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For you those, for those of you who have not played or have only played modern Total Wars, there's a whole world you've missed. Jeez, I tell ya. <clears throat> there we go. I'm not putting much um, points on this. Apparently this hill isn't actually all that nice. It's just a really gentle hill. I mean, a hill's a hill no matter how small, but... The question really comes down to... Is it a big... What is this? Enemy reinforcements? Did somebody say cavalry? Some of them are kind of depleted, but I have enough cavalry that I think I can deal with this. Hello, Desert Raiders! I would like to have you be introduced to my uh, friends. Ooh. So this cavalry fight should be very, very one-sided. Ah, Desert Chieftain. Hello. And they're just offering up their mounted skirmishers for some reason. I am sure they have a good one. Um. I mean, I might as well come up here and get them. Hmm, these other chieftains are going to be tough to kill. Should I just charge into their face? I think the answer is yes. Okay, desert chieftain looked like it was about to charge me. Need to keep my eye on that. Looks like it's gonna be giving us some problems, eh? Hmm. Please go away. Well, they just taken some damage. I'm actually killing Desert Chieftain with my Desert Hurlers. I'm greatly intrigued. This Desert Levy should be blown away quickly. Then I can charge those guys. They lost one guy and took some damage. I don't know if any of you guys checked out the, uh... If you guys have seen the Total War, um... Total War, um... But, but, what's it called? Uh, Warhammer Battle of, um... Oh, what's it called? It was like, um... Thundering Balls? Ambush at the Thundering Falls or something like that. And that's it. It looked pretty good. Um, I am quite intrigued. The unit cards look really nice. 
the graphics look pretty good. The mechanics looked fairly solid. The idea of this ambush battle thing, which I'm not going to talk about it at this, but I'm just saying I like the ideas that they're going for. The little bit more depth and stuff. Very intrigued. Okay, let us commence killing McKilling. Because more skirmishers equals why not? I don't know why I'm bothering to run down there. Units. You know, their general's bodyguard is going to. It doesn't matter the game's out. It's the garrison general. And secondly, this is the last battle of this. Pretty much. This is the last real battle of this nation's life, I should say. They'll try and throw, like, these tiny little stacks that are more mercenary than actual national troops. Which I always finds funny. Why would a mercenary really support such a lost cause? It'd, it'd be really interesting if they added in a mechanic where mercenaries won't just join you if you pay them like if they know they're just gonna die like if they see that there's a giant army just sitting over there and you're recruiting them just it's like fodder or like to to fight these guys or like if your nation's dead or something like that or you're just gonna use these mercenaries as like um, a little bit more beef just a couple more units on your line Oh, I would have liked it so much if I had killed these guys. But unfortunately, I didn't. Go, special unit! Rah! We shall use Frenzy Charge! Rah! Why you stop charging when I use Frenzy Charge, I don't know. Good thing I used it a little bit earlier. There, kill, kill, kill! Cool. Get him. I was playing StarCraft 2 earlier. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I like I feel like my um APM is much higher in this game today than normally is. Normally I'm not that good and I'm normally not managing or microwing man micromanaging my stuff this well. But I think a little bit of StarCraft 2 can really help you in uh, games like this. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Have a bad day. <sighs> when you have a bad day, <laughs> sing a sad song. And turn it around. Tell don't lie. Oh, I like that song a lot. I just really do. It's a nice song. I hope you guys enjoy that song, too. Sometimes it'll sing in videos. And I mean, you might be like, what is this guy doing? He sounds like an idiot. But yeah, I understand that. And uh, I do it because... I don't know names of songs, or like, I'm terrible with names of things. Oh my gosh, names are my weakness. Like, if I gotta bathe in the river of sticks, I would totally choose the thing that I was immortal to, is to forgetting names. What? Why did my unit rout? We'd already, we've already won. And you rout. Okay. End battle. Decisive victory. Cool, 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 cool. It's easy. I hope not, at least. If I lose any, it'll be my Desert Raider, which I could care less about. So I can recruit more pretty cheaply. Um. Don't think I lost any units. They're gonna lose a bunch of guys. 4% attrition. Uh. 4% attrition. Could you imagine that? If that was a bug? Or like they just added in as a joke because there was a fourth option and it was just like. I don't know, they just named something really silly and just like, like, take 4% attrition on your army. <laughs> I'm not going to fight that battle. I, I didn't even have to fight that one, probably. But I just felt like I'd squeeze a little bit more content into this. Oh, it's 107 guys. It's a lot of guys. Whatever. I'm going to occupy. Thank you. Faction destroyed the gas nets. Awesome. I lost another unit. 
Oh, I lost my special unit. Schnitzel. That's bad. That is very bad. Um. I want to get this rune of Rome thing because I feel like that might actually be useful in this. Um. What I oh I lost a scout which I can't replace of course. Um, that's not really useful. Another camel herd in my meager fertility soil. Maybe I guess. I don't have my bulk of Kurdish archers. That was really silly. My garrison when I upgraded the thing, it was like three Kurdish archers. It was like two desert spears and two cap three three cavalry units plus my general's cavalry unit. I was like, what? Weird. Not normal. But I mean whatever. I'm rather intrigued by about these uh, Desert Sands culture pack factions. I might actually get it at some point. Normally I'm not a big fan of these culture packs, but I mean... If they add something unique about them and they're not just like... They're already in the game and everything's already there. Um, They're militarily allied with some nomadic tribe. Or... And I could trade with them. Or I declare war on them and take part of Syria. They offer me 900 gold for trade. No, 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 no. Never mind. Sure, the gold could be useful. But I'm already making 2,000. I'd like to save up and get the capital of uh, this province down here. What is it? It is uh, Yatrib. Yatrib. Um, Desert Hermitage, Public Order, Upkeep Cost for all units in this region, Christian Christianity, that's a big thing, you get a lot of, um, Upkeep Cost reduces, and you have your, um, House of Heavenly Sins, or whatever. It's like, massive religious, of state religion decline, happiness buff squalor increase, and huge money from industry. Got them working girls. Well, sanitation. Sanitation, public order growth. Um, you also have the Zoroastrian Lachmid site. Which gives you public order, religious influence, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get the Hermitage. Because it'll make me more money, actually. That's the funny thing. It'll consume some of my food, but I have lots of food. It'll give me public order. And it will decrease costs for units in the region. Might be smart to get, um, also upgrade this. Might have been smart to, uh, get what's it called? Uh, here we go. We'll come up here and scout this out. Probably cost like 9,000 or something to colonize the region. I'm actually in a pretty good position to attack. So what I might do is I might get like 9,000, and I'll get a small army together, and I'll come down here to, uh, this province, and I'll set it up. Be pretty nice. I might want to reinforce this army, but I make more money not reinforcing it. So whatever. Um, diplomacy. Besides this weird faction that popped out, which I didn't know could actually pop out, or maybe it was always there. Maybe it was. I don't know. Admires Eastern Germanic tribes. What? So some nation in Syria is like I really like these tribes out of like Germanos Armitia and like Harrisinia and got I don't know what it considers Eastern Germanic like is like Frisia Germania and Rate Noricum like Western and then got Scanza Herkina and Germans from Armitia Eastern I don't know I really don't know Rante at Norcom is more of, well, it's actually kind of bulging into the German area, but it's also mostly... Here's the thing, um... Rante at Norcom wasn't actually a province. 
it kind of came in like this. Pretty much the province was the entirety of the Alps and all that stuff, and all the passages to the Alps, and it was uh, the Transalpine Gaul province. Whatever. Uh, I'm not going to dispute them on that. It's probably too hard, or like, oh, I shouldn't say too hard to code in, easy to code in. Too hard to play, or like a too terrible of a region to really... T Why am I at war with these people? Probably to guard Lorne or Overlords. Hemar. If I can get trade with them, that'd be good. They're trading with the another vassal. Oh, rejected. I'll give you 500, 600, Koku. <laughs> Wrong game. Wait, did I just see that was low? It's low. They're laughing at my amount of money I'm giving them. Oh, I'm demanding. Oops. 780. Moderate. I swear your trade agreement's not worth this. Your trade agreement's not going to be worth this. Go blow your own blowhole. That sounded weird. I was going to go for blow your own trumpet. Oh my gosh, that sounded so stupid. <sighs> I'm going to go go blow your own blowhole. Yeah, where'd that come from? Where in my genius mind did I come up with that? I'm an academic student. I know I'm bad at English, <laughs> but... Well, I shouldn't say bad at English, but... Well, I'm decent at English. My problem is spelling and grammar. Grammar's a little bit of a problem, but generally just spelling. That's besides the point. I don't know where that thought came from. That just came out of nowhere. So faction destroyed. Yeah, that pretty much figures. Imperium increased. Yay! Development. Let's get them camel farms. Desert Spears. <laughs> Stat buff is not that great. But I'll get one. Let's get another Desert Raider. I'm sad I lost my special unit. I don't think I even get it from here. Oh yeah, I do. I just need to get this. Oh, okay. I can get that in three turns. Challenge accepted. Question is, do I want to, like, save up and go and come down here and get my capital of this region? Or do I come up here and take... Oh, pfft, it's going to rebel in a second. Jeez, okay. Got nothing built in it. It's got no resources. Yeah, let's go take that. This looks kind of interesting. These units look pretty interesting. Rebellion Militia. Hmm. Murtid has leveled up. Murtid! I might adopt you into my family, Murtid. Integrity? I'm not really going to worry about it, your integrity friend. Um. You can have that. You, my friend. I already have something. Okay, you're going to adopt Murtid before you become super awesome. I only have plus four public order. Do you know how sad that is? Well, part of it's because minus six pub, um, from instability. And religious difference, yay! Which some should go away. Slowly when I get this lack of desert hermitage. And it'll also give me more money, which I like. Money, okay. I really like money. Um, that's one of my big problems, is I'm very gluttonous. I'm very um, decadent in games. I like having big money, sitting back and getting big money. <sighs> well, I, I don't I, no, I don't intend to break the alliance. That's for certain. It's ungodly certain. Depending on the number of troops the Romans have in and in Palestine, and in Syria, it could be very easy. I'd like to take Egypt. I'd like to take Egypt, Syria, Palestine from them. Not gonna happen. Egypt, Palestine would be lucky. Because, um, 
the Sassanids and all their other satellites and vassals are going to take their own pieces. It's going to be... Ooh, oh, oh, border gore. Prepare for border gore. Turn's taking a little while. Danians. Dacia, Gallia. Okay, there we go. Um, pay him off. Cool. Adopted. Yes, balance power. Excellent. And seasonal conditions. Hermitage built. War. Into the fold. Okay. My religion is increasing dramatically. Vents minus four. Bad fall. Ooh, bad autumn. I could get this, consume more food, which I have a plenty, and get more money. Seems pretty good. I might want to come down here and take this. But I mean, like, come on. Palestinia. Palestine. And Egypt. We're just begging for it. There, I just begging for it. So now I'm going to have plenty of targets. Himar. I'm willing to trade with you. No. I don't want to pay them, though. That's the problem. Do I take the capital first? Is the big question. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I have a couple units. Okay. Um. Raise a new army. Elmandir. He's a Lachmid. Yeah, raise an army. Oh, that's an interesting look. Get you in there. Mm, what am I going to recruit for you? Nothing but the best. Desert Spears. Um, let's check you. Can't really see what you have, unfortunately. Let's go and try it. I'm just going to ignore Syria for now. <laughs> Roman separatists are trying to pop Rome back to... Uh, Syria is almost certainly not going to be mine. But if I take Palestine, I should be able to get Egypt. Which should give me enough wealth to take my all of Arabia. Which an end would be really nice. So, one more enter in sequence. See what happens. I'd like to take my time with this conquest, but I probably don't have much time. And I don't have that much money. Or that much stability or prowess, and I'm losing some more money, and... Oh, there's two armies of them. That's not good for me. If they declare war. If they declare war, that'd be a problem. So let's... Oh, I guess it's good that I didn't fight Palermo, then. They'd be fighting me, and that would hurt. And um, I don't like being hurt. I don't like hurting. You know, it's not fun. Not a pleasant experience that I like to indulge in. Um, Um, well, I'm not going to declare war on them now that I know they're friends powerful, okay. As long, well, they gave me a thousand right off the bat, and, well, the longer they stayed alive, the little bit more money I get. Roman separatists were destroyed, okay, that figures. Trade agreement negotiated. Religious change, Palma, Greek Christianity. And they were formerly Eastern Christian. Um, 
Trying to look for Roman legions. This is the big thing I'm doing, and um, I almost want to auto resolve this. I could keep waiting it out. No, we'll take it. Pretty easily, probably. Yeah. Pff. Easy as beans. Bam. Nova Treja. See what is? Can I convert it? Can I must rebuild the city first. Well, does it say that my settlements have basic wall? No, this is a settlement though. Rally field. Forum. I could get a plaza. Which might be good. I get huge regeneration buffs inside cities. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Um, a little bit more unhappy has to be stamped out. More desert spears. Two of them. Two of them. There we go. Saving more money on them. Though I still pay money, but if I'm going to have them anyways, I might as well save money. You know. Okay, this is a good... Oh, of course, Nobatia has a full stack army, and it's going to come up here and try to defend its um, lords. Well, I'll at least take Palestine, yeah, and that'll give me five provinces. Which, I don't know if I mentioned this, I would like having five provinces. A lot. Oh, guess the guess Jafan is going to be the um, mayor, I guess. This, ooh, Eastern Christianity has none. Judaism. Ooh, fun. Some state religion going on here. That'll be nice. I'll like it when they get me some money. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is episode 2 of the Let's Play Lockmids Till Total War. I'm Alexander the Gamer. I hope you guys have a good